nook and cranny sort of poltergeist act. Uh, I, I, I sort of like swift round and I sort of protectively push like both the guards back and I sort of, I, I do like a bunch of like hand gesticulations. I'm like, back foul spirit. <laughs> and I begin kind of like, um, and I, I sort of gesticulate as if to indicate that like he, he should kind of start calming down as I do so. Oh, I see. Uh, okay. uh, and I'm just like, calm you back from this place. And my, oh, okay. my, my, my voice is like, my voice is just completely changed. I'm like, easy, 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 back. Like just kind of oh, like, really? like, like <laughs> oscillating. <laughs> and then, um, and then I sort of like, look, like look at them very like seriously. And uh, I get the hook out, and I go, you probably don't want to be here for this, guys. You really don't. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, make, me, uh, make me some form of roll. This is where I get a natural. So I guess I'll do sway again? Yeah, sway. It's um, definitely sway. That's where I get one. <laughs> oh! oh! Hey! I don't like it that you do one at a time. It freaks me it's out. Terrible. <laughs> uh, yeah, fair enough. They. Uh... That's a six, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you just do it. They go like, "Come on, let's go in!" And Bill and the otherwise uh, unnamed guard, they throw like they don't even shut the cage, just throw the lever that it starts going up. Um, and you hear one of them being like, "Give me some of that!" Just, like, one of them's just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. chugging, chugging his ale. They don't pay me enough for this. <laughs> you hear a lot of, well, "We should bloody join the union." I <laughs> don't like, much to fees are, but it's a union. <laughs> like, the, the lift, the lift goes. Um, so uh, you are now in a storage room of a lot of equipment. Um, on our own. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get to. You're gonna get to losing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is where the magic happens. After you. <laughs> Outstanding. Um, are you still wearing your spirit mask? Uh, yes. I'll keep it on for a moment. I actually, yeah, I will. I will. I will keep it on because I have seen some ghosts. Yes. For real. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for real. They've yeah. sort of taken <laughs> casual interest in you. They're not just free floating now. There's sort of a clump of them down the end of one one of the aisles, and they're sort of just. Oh, yeah. that's nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, quite, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I can't see that. <laughs> part part of why, why I drink so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're a little bit like, ooh, don't want to wanna ruffle too many more feathers. And I'm sort of, uh, I sort of like put myself on, I'm like, easy fellas, easy. No, I'm done. And I just kind of, just kind of like walk, walk, like walk quite, <laughs> quite like nervously, like walk over to you. I mean, you were kind of like feet for you. <laughs> Undead spirit. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, how do you do? <laughs> and just sort of like, yeah, just attempting to kind of look more like confident than I actually feel because I, I don't Tracking. know what, what these sort of ghosts are. Okay. Right, let's take a look then. What do you What do you fancy? Oh, there's a lot of lovely stuff in here. <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think. Yeah, basically, you two are about to start wrenching open yeah. crates and trying to find some the most high value stuff you can. We cut back now to the oh, sorry the store cupboard where uh, the, there is an elf. And a hardened, no. vaguely hardened. disgusting criminal. <laughs> yeah. Okay, not no, not hardened. Like softened. His like, bones are quite, yeah. You know, like when you, when someone's let like bacon or sausage fat cool in a oh. pan, and it's just like oh. white yeah. goo. That's his skin. Imagine it was a person. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's how I picture greasy yeah. fingers. Um, wow. You're still tied up. Uh, you're in a room with uh, a confused-looking uh, elf. Well, as my fingers are so greasy. <coughs> yep. Uh, I'm gonna try and. You're gonna try and slip your bonds. Yeah, slip the bonds. Okay. Uh, maybe you're wrong. Slip your what? What do you call it? Bonds. Bonds. Oh, bonds. I thought you were saying slip my bonds. <laughs> Would this be? No bonds, like bondage. Would this be finesse <laughs> or like? Finesse works, right, yeah. Or, I mean. It could be skirmish. It could even be wreck if you're trying to just break the bonds. No, he's not strong enough to okay. go. You have he's no physical prowess whatsoever, do you? Oh, wow. I am I suck at that. Okay. You can you can help. Yeah, well, I want to do something. Um, what no. is included in tinkering tools? Oh, uh, it's kind of like... It, it would be like a Swiss army knife, basically. But also... Uh, yeah, tinkerer's tools are just like it's it's a saw and it's like a a, a knife and a rasp and yeah okay. yeah cool. hmm. so um, you, I mean are we tied up? You're not. Oh, I'm not. So oh, yeah. I just, I just untie you. Okay. Yeah. There you go. 
Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, better. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> 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 Let me just gargle some mail. Yeah. Now, you are, you, it occurs to you that you are in a locked room yeah. with mm. uh, greasy fingers and you have just untied him. And yeah. You're like, this isn't very, this isn't very festive, actually. No. Um, Should we put up some decorations? <laughs> 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 I mean... It's not exactly the priority at the moment. <laughs> uh, so let me get this straight, right? Is it just a locked <laughs> door, or is it like a door with a chain? And, like no, it's just a locked door. Can Where I just try and Jimmy, 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 Jimmy? How do you do? Yeah, I know Jimmy. You can <laughs> uh, Jimmy, Jimmy the lock. Yeah. Yeah. With my tinkering tools. Yeah. Take is them off. there a little window in the door? Uh, no. It's just a store. Oh, what? Is there a window at all? Yeah. Uh, okay. No, well, I'll, I'll let I'll let the I'll let the the elf attempt to do this. Okay. Is this a tinker roll? Um, oh, wait, if you're watching this in Ireland, I'm not saying that. Oh, uh, yeah, tinker's fine. That's oh. six. Uh, yeah, you actually, um, as you go to sort of investigate the lock, you sort of push in a like a, a sort of a small chisel and then you're like tink tink and like you see this delighted little grin in the gloom spread across her face oh they've left the key in the lock Aww. so it's a simple matter of it's the old push something under the door push the key out bring it back under you've got the key in two shakes and you're just like it so they're spinning it. Oh my god, darling. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you are you're okay. I just love the door in. Go out. Yeah. Oh, okay, you really did Gracie think there's a good fight for me. And he he slides through the gap in the door. <laughs> and um he's gonna he's gonna have a look around okay. to see where did the pompous man point towards this this Clyde fellow. Uh, oh, Clyde? Yes. Uh, it was just further down the passage. Okay, I'm gonna turn to Elf and say, if I were you, oh, I would start uh, making a bit of an exit out from the well, I'm just gonna investigate. Just a little <laughs> <laughs> What are you investigating? Not Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I go off into the back to the party. Okay, you're back at the you're Perhaps back at the party. That uh, the party for one. Sorry, the dude, <laughs> the dude who uh, you were chatting up earlier, comes along. He's like, but I made quite a bit of money. Oh, thank you. Oh no, that's I'll give that to you later. <laughs> it's Ringo. It's not the only thing I'm planning on giving you later. I can tell you that. Oh, excellent present! <laughs> I love he, presents. He hides the. Uh, he basically just pockets the, the, the purse. Which, to be fair, uh, to be fair, it seems quite full. He's done quite a good job. He's. You you get the feeling he's promised a lot of friends favors if they'll just lend him some money. Um, you shouldn't yeah, really ho- withhold money from charity, though. Come make, on. Make me a probably sway If roll. you pull this off, I'm going to be so impressed <laughs> because the only other way is, is a very bad one. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable about this. No. <laughs> That's a five. five. Yeah. Um, he goes, you're the cheeky one. Uh, he shakes a few coins out and he's like, and the rest lighter. Thank you. And don't you go running off now. He's gone South African. And I, I run off. Oh, <laughs> oh rot. Balls. Uh, oh, <laughs> I'll do South African when I want to. Uh, okay, he, yeah, um, uh, oh, the no. spark right. Creepo. Find elf. Boom. This is a four piece clock because he's looking for you. He's looking for you a bit in a fun, like, what a little minx kind of way. He's not <laughs> like, where's she gone? He's looking so, yeah. for you but in a fun way. Yeah. <laughs> looking We're for playing you hide and seek. Yeah, yeah love fun. Me. Okay, so we cut back to the basement. Uh, you have found, there is basically, this is uh, this whole place is full of crates that are destined for uh, the Deathlands. So you're very familiar with lightning hooks. It's like a lot of lightning hooks, personal generators, um, navigation equipment. 
it doesn't really matter what you're taking, like it will be worth quite a lot. Once we, yeah. um, if you can find the right set. I've, I've got buyer. a particular interest in curious and or cursed items. Aha! Uh, is there, do, would, I, would I perhaps have known anything? Can you make beforehand? me a roll? It would probably be a tune. Okay, cool. That's, um, I'm reasonable at that. Good. Um, yeah, a whisper cool. without a tune is. Oh, oh you've got more than one. Oh, when you roll. always do this to us. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, you um, you basically like you, you tap a little a little way into the ghost field. You sort of put yourself in the river of it, basically, and you're like, oh, hello. And there is, a, <laughs> there is a, a small sort of crate. It's almost like um, like a little wine chest, almost. But you like, you don't even need to look at it. You're like. Cursed. <laughs> <laughs> some good cursed stuff there. Okay. However, the ghosts have definitely taken an interest in you now. They're sort of they are basically if you were to see this on somebody else, they are swirling around you in like a weird carousel, just facing you and just oh, like they uh, basically at the slightest provocation they might they might try and physically manifest and kill you. Can I ask what a spirit pain charm is? Ooh. It is as it is to a ghost as a crucifix is to a vampire. Will they bugger off? <laughs> <laughs> to an extent. Mm. You can sort of be like, Whoa, and then they'll sort of like back up, like, but they'll, be, they'll be pissed. Uh, so I sort of uh, back back toward you, uh, sort of like a you're bit taking, nervous. You're taking the crate. How close are they to me? Oh, they they are right up in your face. They're not attacking you yet. Uh-huh. Uh, right. They're just very interested in you. All right, all right, all right, fellas. Are we having a good night? Sort of again, just small talk. The ghost. <laughs> One of them locks eyes with you and very deliberately passes through you. Mm-hmm. You feel like a horrible, cloying, like clammy feeling, and it's like, uh, you know, when like um, a sudden weight drops out from under you, you get that sort of sudden seizing in your chest. It's like that. It's like, ah. and you've been around ghosts. Of, long enough to know that that is basically like their version of giving you the middle finger. Uh-huh. You're like, oh god. Like, oh, I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm pulling my friend into the into the lift. Can <laughs> you see this? You can't button. see any of these. Uh, I can see the sweat forming on her brow. <laughs> I can see that I'm wearing a ghost mask and I'm not really enjoying this. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. So yeah, you see Creepy Jack sort of. If Creepy Jack's scared, <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so, but you've got, you've got like a decent haul um, mm-hmm. and... Yeah, okay, you make it to the lift. Mm-hmm. Uh, they don't, they sort of reach the, the end of the lift and like they sort of continue swaying. Mm-hmm. And as you throw the, the, the thing, they don't try and get in the lift as you sort of start to ascend. But you just see one of them raises a hand and just points. And then you sort of, they continue to point uh, as you disappear. Uh, I love the I spirit bane charm out for a bit, Vance. <laughs> <laughs> um, you swear you almost hear a hiss. Ooh, it worked. Uh, I, still, I still have one tankard left, right? Yeah. Uh, I take the mask off and I just like gasp and just blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh, I, don't, I don't know why I do this mucky business sometimes. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, it's a sad cat. tale. It's even muckier when we got greasy fingers. <laughs> it's always muckier and greasy fingers as a man. Okay, so you basically you have a crater piece. Uh, you emerge sort of on the, on the floor. There is very much a party happening still, um, and you're trying to make it out with with a crate of things a piece. Uh, what are you two doing? Uh, yeah. Well, you, what are you doing? You're, you're off doing, to see yeah, Clyde. Yeah, I'm heading off. To, well, I'm heading off Clyde. towards the direction of Clyde. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not. He's not far. He's sort of got like a hatch in the wall, and he's behind a desk. He looks really bored. And yeah. He's got some. Go he's sort it. of just running his finger along in like a puddle of spilled wine. Now, um, I'm going to do a flashback. Yeah, please do. Ooh. Ooh. And uh, I'm going to be in a, like a dismal little corner yeah. with like a group of my little my little elves. Yeah. And I'm going to go, oh, my pretties, you found such lovely information. Yeah. For old crazy thing. Tell me. What did you find out? And they tell me that the name of like one of the big, like high up, yeah, like, uh, and the fact that they like this particular liquor that's like, oh, very good. Mm. Okay, yeah. 
I, d- I just like to imagine that you've got all these kids standing there, and then Elf is just like with big legs, like I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> but, but they said Elf, so I'm here. <laughs> oh. <That's pretty> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna make you roll for that. I will make you take one stress. Okay. Uh, mm. For that flashback, uh, the man's name. No, I'm pretty sure that's the name of someone who exists. I'll cross that out. <laughs> um, Joris Bonson. Yeah. <laughs> Joris. Joris. Not my table. Not at my flipping um, table. Harry um, Garlow. Uh, no, his, his name is Peter, <laughs> Peter Hawthorne. <laughs> His name is Peter Hawthorne, and you know that he is very particular to a kind of blackberry brandy mm. that is uh, produced in one small corner of the Dagger Isles. It sounds num 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 num. It is num 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 num. You, okay. you, you practically you grew up drinking this stuff, um, which may account for one. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Before I reach Clyde, yeah. so in the corridor, corridor yeah. I'm gonna whip yeah. out a, some sort of disguise kit. Is that a thing? A good idea, mm. I would say. And I'm gonna turn myself using my greasy disposition. I'm gonna like oh God, gonna have grease, paint, grease back my hair. <laughs> Yeah. Even more so it. than usual. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like I'm gonna make it I'll a bit neater. And I'm gonna okay. switch out my coat, and it, the inside of it is like a bit more, you know. Velvety. Like yes. Yeah. And um, I'm gonna like just, yeah, to make myself look a bit more respectable. Okay, make me a contour roll just to see how well it how well it goes. Just this is just for the quality of this guy. You're not gonna suffer any harm. Oh, it's yeah. nice. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, like it's yeah. well practiced. Yeah. You're like. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Fine. And I'm gonna stroll in like this. Yeah. Up to Climb. the man and go. <laughs> <laughs> you, sir. Wake up! Come on. What is this? Oh, Some awake. sort of bedroom activity. <laughs> <laughs> Who? The chaff. Are you? Hi. I'm um, Lord Peter Forthorns, assistant Forthorns. <laughs> Do you mean Peter Hawthorne? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the commoners pronounce it, yes. Well. And he has called me <laughs> to ask for his blackberry bread. He demands it. <laughs> well, I knew he was out of favour with a council of six, but I didn't realise. Pizza Hawthorne had fallen this bloody far. <laughs> 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 he and I demands slip, it, does he? Yeah, I, uh, I slip a little bit of gold mm-hmm. out of my pocket. Right. And I slide it underneath and go, look, we've all had long days. I'm just, uh, let's just get this out. He, uh, make me a, make me a roll. Would this be consort, I guess? Absolutely, yeah. Because yeah. you're trying to be chummy. Yeah. Oh, this, oh, this was a risky roll at standard effect. Mm. I remembered one. Uh, okay, uh, it's four. So he, like, he gets the... Like, he basically, as he reaches underneath the desk, he you see him, like, shoot the coin up his sleeve with a well-practiced gesture, and he just goes... Like Brie Brandy. Swiss made since 1908. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but as you reach for it, he goes. <sighs> <laughs> oh. Oh. What a sword, sordid transaction. A pleasure. A wine show. Nice to meet you. I was about to do a nice to meet you, I'm down. Uh, um, yeah, and then he just turns around, walks down the hallway, okay. and then he's down the hallway. You're like, going to be minus one coin from the, um, the, the score. Oh, you. Oh, the score. Okay, never mind. You, your take, personally, will yeah, be yeah. down one coin. Uh, and he walks through the, the kitchen, yep. looking important. Okay. You, then, oh, you're going on? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, you go into the kitchen. He's going through the kitchens up up into the party right yeah you're in the party as soon as in the party you look around uh, just 
pocket it. Fine. And nice. then he's going to look, he's going to head for the nearest exit. Fair. Okay, so you. Legends. They go, they go. And they, like, they, they merge with you and you're yeah. just one normal yeah. person. <laughs> Uh, actually, like, yeah, as you sort of go to leave, all the urchins manage to sort of like break off from wherever they are and they just disappear under your jacket. You're like, Yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they go, I got Yep, okay, no, I'm pinching your bum. <laughs> <laughs> You're like the thief maker of Shades Hill. Um, good reference for like. Maybe ten people in the comments. Yeah. Let me know if you got it. <laughs> yeah, ten's ambitious. <laughs> uh, I'm, co- I'm fairly confident with this one. Okay. All right. Anyway, um, please comment. Uh, <laughs> okay. How you would think if you get ten comments? No. Son. No. You yeah. can't agree it'll that just, for all of it'll us. It'll just be Johnny like commenting over and over again. Oh mate, <laughs> <laughs> my army of sock puppet accounts. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, oh, so looks really yeah. handsome in this video. <laughs> 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 that hair. Anyway, back on, back on, back on, this crime's afoot. Uh, okay, so you, you bug out, um, Elf, are you also leaving? Can I go back up the chimney? Oh, God. Yes. Yeah, yeah you can that. just do that. So you, like, I think you kind of think it's cute, but it's absolutely terrifying. Like, Elf kind of walks up. In fact, the, like, the, the guy who had been chatting you up sort of finds you. Just as you basically, you sort of do a backwards crab, oh. sort of handspring thing, and then you sort of like bend your spine and kind of crack. <laughs> so you go feet first up the chimney, like. <laughs> and you just see him, like, he goes pale and he just turns and present, pretends he never saw you. <laughs> um, and he's like, you see, uh, yeah, that's, that's that. As you re emerge into the party, you see a man just like take a bottle of moonshine off someone who's just like oh like absolutely he's like he's a man on a mission if he had stopped drinking in order to keep a, a clear head before he is absolutely trying to do himself in now but you have emerged on the party floor you each have a crate i uh flashback to when we were still in the basement uh-huh. um i found a bucket of tar and I've written garbage <laughs> on the crates, <laughs> but slightly misspelled it on one of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> garbage with an I. Yeah, garbage. <laughs> Gar- yeah. G A R B I G G E. Yeah, no, all right. Gar- yeah. Garbage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to give you any st- st- stress for that. That's weird. <laughs> uh, actually, take one stress. All right. Rude. <laughs> Mate, I mean, I'm actually going very easy on you all. <laughs> you should um, live like me, I've got zero stress. Well, yeah, so no, you just time. cause it for everyone else instead. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing exactly? We're just going to walk through like nothing oh, ever happened. you're looking like you're taking out the garbage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Garbage. The garbage. <laughs> yep. Okay, uh, both of you wrong. make me uh, some form of role to get at. Okay. Uh, do you, you, you argue the task, you tell me what skill you're using. I think I'm going to... Prowl. I think yeah. I've I've developed a kind of social stealth that people just don't really notice me. Yeah, I, will, I, I will use sway and I'll basically just do my all right, all right, just kind of like looking like quite <laughs> yeah, casual. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, he, he works. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Right, roll them bones. I'm not going to look at your star until they've all been rolled. Oh, oh, no. oh, that's two. a fail. Two. That's a fail. Two. 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 One. Uh, I got six, so oh. I'm all right. <laughs> Um, See ya. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off. <laughs> uh, okay, you, you're like, all right, all right, all right, all right. And then you, you, look, you make eye contact with the dude and you're like, oh, don't say anything to him. <laughs> you, but it's already happening. You're like, all right. And he cuffs you and goes, where'd you get that? Um, the crate tumbles from your hands, cracks and spills open. Uh, out of it rolls sort of like um, uh, an egg timer. Um, with this weird, it's almost like a per- you're, it, it's as much smoke as it is dust. It's kind of just this roiling mass that's kind of just swimming the walls of it and going in and out and in and out. There is a, another uh, spirit mask, much like your own, mm-hmm. um, and there is sort of an arcane book uh, that you see and you're like, oh, my beautiful treasures. <laughs> um, and I need you to make me a skirmish roll, please. Uh, okay, I don't have any points in that, so do I just roll? Did you roll two you and take the worst, the worst result? Yeah. You've oh. been rolling a lot of ones. Three. Four. 
three. Wow. Three. Three. Okay, okay uh, you basically, he like, where are you going? You drop the crate and he just smashes you in the face. Oh. He just hooks a well-practiced punch uh-huh. in there. I need you to take um, level, level two harm, broken nose. Uh, sorry, how do I try it? Um, you can resist it again if you want to. Uh, what does in resisting it do? So, resisting, you will take six stress. However, you get to pick one of your attributes, mm-hmm. um, roll it, and the highest die result is how much stress you take off that six. So you could mm-hmm. take zero stress okay. and drop it down to level one harm. Um, I will give I will give that a shot. Okay, what stat are you going to see? It would probably, for this, it would probably be physical. Um, so it would probably be... Actually, resolve is fine. Could I... Yeah, could I... It's a bit of a funny one, but could I go for sway? You don't even need to pick oh, a skill. Oh, it's just resolve. Oh, so sorry. you're rolling. You're making a resolve check. Your highest is three. Mm-hmm. So roll me 3d6 and take off the highest result. Resisting is great. Oh. Three. Five. Five. Three. 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 So uh, you, yeah, you take one stress. Mm-hmm. And you've only got level one harm, which is good because level two harm loses you a die on every roll. Mm. I, don't, I don't want to lose my creepy face. Well, exactly. So it's it's like a uh, black eye. Black now. Okay. Is there any way you can get rid of it? Because obviously I'm not going to be concussed forever, right? You're the no. Nice one. You have to heal it. Healing room. Uh, it's a downtime action, which I will explain when we do a downtime, oh, which okay. is imminent. <laughs> um, basically, you get thrown out of the um, of the party. Um, he's like bleeding thieves, and he just ch- chucks you out. And he's like, "If I see you around here again, you're dead." <laughs> I just sort of, I kind of mutter something about curses, <laughs> look look away, sort of like despondently. Um, he, he, you sort of hear him uh, turn back to the party, and you sort of hear his voice diminish. He goes, "What are you all staring at? Get this cleared up. Where are those guards?" Um, you, you've got some, some men in some uh, in an awful lot of trouble. Oh dear. Um, but uh, that is everybody now out of the building. You have completed your first score. Yay! Congratulations! Well done. As now, a slink away, I'm just holding my big box like. <laughs> I'm sorry to have mugged you at the very end. <laughs> However. You biffed it. <laughs> <laughs> the, dice, the dice giveth and they take it. Indeed. It is the way. <laughs> okay, so we'll do downtime now, just to sort of show how it works. Um, da, 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 da. Downtime. <laughs> Score playing. Uh, one, four, five, one, four, six. I love how that page was like, what is there to eat in Duskbot? It feels, it's like a travel... travel yeah, 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 it's, it's written like a travel guide. I, I love this book. Also, the answer is often eels. <laughs> kidding. When eels you like, up inside you. Finding an entrance whence they can. <laughs> <laughs> is there a reference here I'm not getting? It's, that's a Mike Bush, don't worry about that one. Okay, yeah, thank you so much. Because that was nice. Eels. Okay, so Eels. <laughs> <laughs> just you, I think. Okay, and uh, so um, a successful score generates both rep and coin. Mm. You earn two rep per score by default. If the target of the score is higher tier than you, yes, uh, they take one extra rep per tier higher. You take two rep because currently you are tier zero mm. and they were tier two. So we get two. four in total? Yeah. Sweet. Um, That's on the, the group page. That's our crew. Oh. This is the crew sheet. The Embez Elves. Now. Acquired some rep. I was just imagining like the San Andreas ending screen. Boom, boom, respect up. <laughs> <laughs> you come out of this with after you fenced everything. Mm-hmm. I'm going to call this six coin. Mm-hmm. What about my charity takings? That's included. Okay. The whole the whole take was six okay. coins. So that spills over into the vaults. Is that fine? Yeah, you can just yeah. stash it in the vault. Okay. So the crew has four coin to work with at any point. Uh, if you were going to divide that money between you, um, you could. Obviously, you'd be down a coin because of the old paying up. Um, <laughs> and then I, I came out with something. That's true. Now we determine how much heat you take. Was it zero heat, smooth and quiet, low exposure? No. Two heat, contained, standard exposure? Four heat, loud and chaotic, high exposure? Or six heat, wild, devastating exposure? <laughs> I'd say two. two. I yeah. think it was a contained, standard exposure job. Yeah. Believe you me, 
the crew I ran this for for 18 months did not see many of those, so you've actually done really, really well. Um, add one heat for a high profile or well connected target? No. Add one heat if the situation happened on hostile turf? Yes. Uh, add one heat if you're at war with another faction? No. Add two heat if, healing, if killing was involved. You didn't kill them either. No. And also, whether the crew did it or not, bodies attract attention. Oh. So, yeah, damn. like I said, death is bad. Mm. Okay, uh, no one's been arrested. In, aha, in Tongue Laments, what is the gang's heat? Uh, it is three. Okay, could you pass me a d6, please? Oh, like a d6. Oh. Gang trouble. Oh no. <laughs> That's going to come back to bite you in the arse right doesn't, now. Doesn't everything. To, to grab you in the arse. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to come back and grab you in the arse between four and six times. <laughs> I mean, that's standard with yeah. greasy fingers. Yeah. Although you'd think it would be hard because it's so greasy. Well, they try and grab. That's why they have yeah. to do it so many times. They okay. keep slipping off. So basically, you all. Uh, we're about to do what we're about to determine what you do in downtime. But basically, the action of this gang trouble is that uh, you are all so made up that you met, you did your first score and you feel pretty good about it. You unfortunately you, you talked about it a bit too loudly in, on the, lash. in yeah. the pub. Yeah, and the spark rights have got wind of it, and they are coming <sighs> to get you, Barbara. Um, now we do downtime activities. Everyone has two downtime actions. Mm -hmm. These are acquire assets, which is get a thing for the next score. So for example, given that you know um, the spark rights are gonna come and try and mess you up, you, maybe you get a big pot of oil that you could boil and then tip on them or whatever. Oh. A long-term project. <laughs> when you start a long-term project, you start a clock, not unlike this one, and when you, uh, you can use downtime actions to work on it. When it fills up, you get whatever it is. So maybe you're trying to find uh, information on somebody that's proving difficult to locate. Um, maybe you're building a submarine. Legitimately, I've seen that happen. It can be anything you want, um, but the complexity of it determines how many pieces that clock has for you to fill. fill excuse me. You can recover. When you recover, you try and heal yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll notice there is a four-piece clock next to your injuries. Mm -hmm. When you fill that clock, every injury bumps down a level. So level two becomes level one, etc., etc., etc. Healing takes bloody ages in this game. Mm. Um, it's like it is hard to do to the point where I think it's a little bit imbalanced. I personally, that's, that's life. To be fair, yeah, yeah. I, I think personally, uh, like I've done it before, whereby. Uh, you just you you automatically heal a level with every downtime. So level twos become level mm. ones, level ones go away. Blah 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 blah. Uh, with training, you can boost your XP, uh, and you can also indulge your vice, which is the way you reduce your stress. Mm. Um, so just very quickly, uh, what does everybody want to do? Me and I imagine you're going to reduce some stress. Yeah, I'm going to indulge in my vice. Okie dokie. Can we do one of these? Is that you can do two. Two. Um, so, just describe to me what you're doing. Um, uh, like, are you going boozing? Are you playing cards? How does... <sighs> Greasy fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Unwind after a long day of criminal activity. Well, Greasy fingers has a quite a high opinion of himself. No kidding. Um... <laughs> He wants to be a, a master thief, mm -hmm. just like all those books he didn't read. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, so he's going to go to not the pub we free, like not the whole hog we frequent. Right. Yeah. To a, another establishment. The rusty hang now. A yeah. Different boozer, and go in there and like he's going to tell tales. Tall right. tales about his achievements. So that's why the spark rights heard about us. <laughs> um, your you clear stress with your lowest attribute. So uh, I mean, there's loads of them. So oh, you've got zero oh, in prowess. Yeah, prowess. I know one. one. All right, so only one d six. You clear two stress. Okay. Well, right. stress yeah. well, okay. It's possible to overindulge, which is bad. So that's a thing. Mm -hmm. um, next, what are you doing? Um, we can we can like sort of seek out information, right? Yes, you can. I I'm sort of like looking around the group and I was like, that was bloody brilliant, right? <laughs> where, I've I've had a few points. No, uh, right, right. We need to find right <laughs> the biggest Christmas do we can. Yeah. Right. 
Shit will have it. But there'll be plenty of stuff to rob, I imagine. So let's do that. I'm going to look up. I'm going to look out for some information. Okay, yeah. sure. Uh, yeah, you find out uh, that the Bill Hooks, why not? Did I already mention them? No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, didn't yeah, you did. Yeah. You said they had a ch the charity care packages. Yes. Oh, it was the Bill Hooks. The present. Oh, yes. not the Bill Hooks. Sort that then. Uh, let's see. Oh, Lord Scurlock's throwing a party in his manor. Oh. It's the creme de la creme of Duskwall. Everybody who is rich will be there. Many riches will be there. Will you be there? Who knows? Find out in possibly a future instalment, etc., etc. <laughs> That's what you find out. Lolies. Uh, I'd like to heal. Okay, uh, so let's just see. Recover. Um, oh, yeah, you go to visit uh, Physica. So I'm going to say your Physica is rating two, so roll me 2d6. And just tell me what your highest result is. Six. Six? Oof. Uh, that's three segments of the clock. Nice. Oh, see how, like, even a, you need a crit to heal a level in one go. So you yeah. can use your second action to heal again if you want. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so I won't even make you roll. You you clear uh, your level. You concuss just becomes like a bruised noggin. Uh, so that's both of your downtime actions, Sarah. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to heal. Uh huh. Uh, so two d six. Two d six. Yeah. Excuse me, that was uh, disgusting. Five. That was also gross. Uh, that's two <laughs> segments on the clock. Okay. Um, I will try and heal again. Okay. Cool. Inspired by greasing. Yeah. He's unfortunately. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah! Yeah, so that is a full clock. That's a six for those of you at home. <laughs> um, cool. Okay, my black eye. Which actually means, uh, uh, like, it, it's just a by the by. Uh, it's not really relevant, but any pieces of the clock that are left over, you do keep. Um, so that you can oh. you sort of get a head start on healing next term. However, <laughs> if you take any harm in the, the following score, that's white. Ooh. Bit of fun. So that was both of your Bit actions. Of pants. But you've uh, got so one left. One left. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh yeah, you've got one. Nothing left. Uh, it's you like two. Punch in the face have again. <laughs> one action a piece remaining. Uh, Grease fingers is going to convene fingers. with his his elves. Okay. And be like, oh my proteins. What have you found out for all greasy things? <laughs> um, <laughs> so like general gathering. Yeah, general goss. The kids are like, you know, you know the, you know the, the, the men who we was robbing, mm. who were taking all their, their purses and their things. Mm. Yes, 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 my pretty. They said we've heard that they've said that they're gonna come and they're gonna kill you right up. Oh. There's, they're sending about um eight or eight or nine um, men and they're coming. They know where we know. They know where about the secret hideaway and they're gonna come and they're gonna kill us in it. Are all of them called Roger? Yes. yes. <laughs> Every single one of them is called Roger. Yes. Elbows. Uh, so what, <laughs> that's, that's what Roger said. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, you've done very good work. Yeah. Have, have a crown of dread. <laughs> Between you. <laughs> Eat that. Yes, no, yes, no, no I throw a loaf at them and they all like converge on it. It's like a <laughs> rat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you've never heard a uh, loaf of bread scream before. <laughs> <laughs> do never. <laughs> Um, okay, so then that's uh, that. Your second downtime action, Monsieur. What was the name of the bike? I should have written it down. <coughs> um, it's Lord Skurlock. Oh, you're a good note taker. Mm. Lord. Uh, well, I gotta keep the naughty list intact. <laughs> Who's on the naughty list? All of you us. You are. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if anyone's on the naughty list, you're on the top list. of the list. It's like fingers, yeah. yeah. I'd like to gather some information on the manner of Lord Skurlock. Okie dokie then. Uh, bah, 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 bah. You know what? Just for the sake of time, I'm gonna make bah, you bah, bah, make bah, you roll for actually no, I am. Ooh. Would you like an inspire? Oh, that would be my third action. <laughs> Eat him in spy in between jobs. Sod it. Uh, yeah, um, you find out about his manor. It is very well guarded. There is an external wall, and there are some grounds with honest to goodness grass, which Whoa. is a rarity in Dusklaw. You are not sure how they were, how those lawns have been cultivated. Uh, but basically, it is, it is uh, ooh, an indicator of his wealth and influence. Um, the society ball is um, extremely exclusive. Uh, the security levels are going to be high. Um, the Basically, 
it's it's by invitation. The invitations are not even being sent out. You have to go to uh, one of his one basically one of the city offices in uh, why no is it Whitehall? Wyoming. No, that's just why Wy- Wyoming. Wyoming. <laughs> <laughs> in uh, High Wycombe. Wy- <laughs> well, High Wycombe in. Um, Brightstone, that's it. Um, oh no, Charter Hall, that's the one, Charter Hall. Uh, you've got to go to Charter Hall to pick up the invitation and then go straight to the party. He is taking absolutely no chances on this. It, it, like, it is dizzyingly well defended. Um, you'd be lucky to mug someone on their way in, let alone infiltrate the actual party. Mm. Um, and that is, I believe, everyone's two well downtime actions. Oh. I should call that a five. Lovely mince pie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Merry okay. Christmas, <laughs> so, children. Um, we're going to make this. We're going to make this second score very, very, very quick. Just because I wanted to show off downtime, and then we may as well just carry on uh, for a little bit. Basically, what's what's your hideout like? What's your? It's in the sewers. Oh, there yeah. it is. Uh, it's hidden, and we have prowess and training. Oh, your bloody it? shadows! Of course, they don't know where you are. Mm. Yep. Sod it. Okay, uh, then they are going to jump you um, while you're in the street. Mm-hmm. They're not. Okay. Would I, having had pre warning? <laughs> yep. Yeah, you can make preparations, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we'll do that in flashbacks. Ah, we? of course we will. You are all out carousing, as you are wont to do. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. oh, I do love a good carouse. Um, <laughs> when you just hear, you sort of hear a familiar voice and you look up and it's. Um, it's actually G- Giles, was that his name? No, Clyde. 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 Clyde is brandishing the broken half of a Blackberry brandy bottle. Oh, wow, okay. He's got his sleeves rolled up. They're all, they're all wearing braces. Like They are tooled up and they are, are they ready a- for war. Do they have all the hats on? No. No, this is, come on, mate. It's not the Assassin's Creed Syndicate. <laughs> is that what you were going for? More like uh, Peaky Blinders, but... Mm. Flat caps. <clears throat> oh. One of them is wearing a flat cap. <laughs> um, Sock him! They, are, Get they are all lined up in the street and they go, there they are then. And they charge at you. Charge. What are we doing? So, I'm not quite sure to the extent to which flashbacks can go. I've literally one time had a player go flashback 40 years oh. because oh. they were playing a 90 year old uh, and they flashbacked to a guard, like did a flashback, and they had taught that guard how to play an instrument in their youth. <sighs> And uh, was like, do you remember me? <laughs> and was like, oh my god, it's you! And then she cut his throat. Whoa! So oh, flashbacks shit. are potent. You're right, they didn't take death very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> they did not. Um, flashbacks! I mean, the gang was called The Bad Consequences. So, anyway. So could you have had a flashback where you get an object? Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, sorry, you flashback uh, first. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's say that maybe five years ago, mm-hmm. I uh, did a little job for someone and I cleared out a wailing sort of banshee-like ghost from their house. And I did so with a, a spirit, like by capturing the mm-hmm. ghost and putting it into a bottle. Mm. I take the bottle and I throw it in the park. Oh my <laughs> lord! Of, uh, of the, of basically the, uh, the, the peaky boys as yeah, they run towards, it's as like, they run towards. That's going to be too Pokemon. Okay, yep. I'm stressed just thinking about it. Yeah, this. like a Kaz Pokeball, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Um, and it's a really, yeah. like, it's a particularly, yeah, hor- it. a particularly horrifying kind of ghost. Like, I'd say that, like, for flavour, it's got, like, no eyes, and it's kind of weirdly rotted, and it just yeah. screams and screams and screams, like, the most horrible kind of noise. <laughs> it wishes to close its mouth to stop screaming. But it has no jaw. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's genuinely unsettling. <laughs> okay, so you throw this out, it starts screaming. I need everybody to make me a resolve check. No, so, on. Wheels, you're rolling 2d6, it looks like, and yep. doing the worst resolve. Bam. Uh, uh, I think you get a, a one extra d because you're a whisper. I might be imagining that. I got three. I have four in my resolve. Ooh. I mean, like, and I have an oh, extra. Oh, no, your best one of. XP? What happened to my XP? Oh, we do XP at the end of the whole session. Ah, okay. Annoyingly. So, what do I roll? Does it matter? You still you roll your best one. You roll right? two. Yeah, you just roll two d six. Oh, okay. I'm a five. Four. Oh, oh. oh. Both of you are absolutely terrified. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, greasy um, fingers is old. Yeah. <laughs> you are. You are both absolutely yeah. wrecking it. Um, so you you freeze up basically. You just oh. like, oh. 
um, as this thing basically goes sh- shrieking toward the enemy lines. More scared of this person. <laughs> you can just do that on command, yeah, I'm thinking. Like, really scared. How many <laughs> bottles do you have? Uh, what are you doing, Elf? Uh, oh, like in this, while they're charging towards us? Mm-hmm. It's a very good question. Um, Marveling at the ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got some, no. I've got some documents, which is my naughty list, and I start like asking people's names and like scribbling them down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Did goodness. you say your name was Clyde? Clyde. I love how you're. It feels like you're in a different dimension. <laughs> Make me a consort role, probably. Oh, that's a three. Okay. Um. He basically goes, yeah, I'm Clyde, and he sticks you with the, the <gasps> bottle in the side. Oh. Um, out of all of us, you really weren't expecting that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the take level three harm, bleeding out. Jesus. You can resist it. Uh, yes, please. Yeah. Right, we are good. So, <laughs> I, I would say probably roll your resolve, which is two dots. Yeah. Take the highest result. That's a six. Ooh. No stress. So it's a level two harm, like... Stab ode. Stab. I'm writing that down as you said. Okay. Don't Stab-ode. mess with crab or you're um, going to stab <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, Clyde is basically he's, he's he's stuck you well good with a bottle. Can I do I have to wait for my turn now? Is it like D and D do I have to wait or can I I'm kind of we run right? it very loosely, there's no initiative system. Okay. However, these two are, are terrified, so I'm gonna make them skip a go. <laughs> oh yeah, so um, am I. <laughs> so uh, right. creepy jack. Uh, okay, so another flashback. Yep. Go back a couple of months back. I am uh, sitting sitting with my mate Quellen, who's also an ex-romantic partner. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're a witch, and they and we're sort of laughing and having a bit of a cackle over a bunch of dark uh, dark secrets that we were revealed to us mm-hmm. about the uh, is it, sorry, what was the name going in? The spark. Uh, spark right. Spark right. Just sort of talking about like terrible things that we sort of heard about them, like really embarrassing, horrible, <laughs> kind of dark secrets that people, people like Creepy Jack and Quellen come across because they talk to a lot of people in like dark corners and also like get called upon to do lots of strange jobs for people yep. as well. So basically, you know, I know about like a bunch of their ancestral trauma and like just like wow. relationships with their dad, like, yep. and nothing like. Um, and can we say that I sort of recognise one of the people because they have a particularly embarrassing and yep. horrible kind of secret. Yeah. There's that one that put themselves <laughs> at a party. <laughs> <laughs> he gambled on a fart and lost. <laughs> um, and it's something like something or like career kind of destroying, like the sort of thing that you really like something bad. Not, nobody not, not nobody like, will look at you the same way again. Yeah. Kind of the, the sort of thing that you would you would pay the person doing the job to fix, kind of like for you to not te- not say sort of contractually. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, he, being a spark writer, is obviously often involved in like maintaining the lightning wall. Um, it is no secret. Well, it is a secret. It's a terrible secret. He was once caught uh, enjoying himself, shall we say, um, by siphoning off some of the current and applying it directly to his genitals. Because <gasps> that's uh, how he gets his kicks, and that's what you know. <laughs> do do do. If you're into it. Oh no! Yeah, there's absolutely no kink shaming on Icebreaker. It's just that. He doesn't want his friends, the spark rights, to know about it. It's not also, the most professional <laughs> no, thing to be doing. No, too stress. Also, okay. like, <laughs> siphoning electricity away from a wall that keeps the just, terrible just, ghosts yeah. out. Actually, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's... A bit it of a dick move. move. Yeah, on the terms of priorities, one man getting off versus gun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> safety one. of the city, getting my rocks off. It's, one, yeah. one it's does literally not a bit of a dick move. move. Yeah, it is a no, bit of a dick move. He said it was a dick move. I'm proud of both of you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, that's going to get really weird, isn't it, when it's all stacked up? Ooh, it's otherworldly. Um, anyway, uh, so that's what you know. Okay, so uh, presumably he's running toward us. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I've got, got, got like the, go, the, go, the ghost up, and I just look him dead, 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 dead in the eye, and I go, oh, not, not very close to the wall here, are we, son? Like, looking, like just looking, uh, do you want me to talk any further, or, or shall, I, shall I keep quiet? Don't, don't, I, know, I know that we don't want to share our secrets about, do we? Uh, how's, how's, how's it doing down there? I heard doing that can cause a bit of long-term damage. Wouldn't advise it. And I, I just kind of like, 
Uh, I can keep it quiet, or I could uh, start having a he's, bit of a shout. He's just been basically. like sprinting at you. He's like. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay, make me. Uh, Look at this. I'm probably uh, uh, <laughs> maybe sway or consult. Or yeah, sway. Okay. Make me warn of them. So it's sort of like um, it's like a weird kind of persuasion slash intimidation check where I'm basically just like we can keep this quiet, and I'll, I'll say just for like uh, funsies as I'm doing it, I make little zapping noises with my stick. <laughs> Zoop. And I'm like, I pointed to my watch and I'm like, oh! <laughs> I'm Amazing. Real. Pretty Jack's a real bastard. Yeah. Uh, That's five. That's six. 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 Wow. six. Stops running and the fight just goes out of him. <laughs> and he just slowly backs up and he's like, <laughs> and he, he melts into the, the background. Yeah. Uh, you hear some people be like, where are you going? Neil! Neil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Neil. <laughs> Uh. Cool, great. Um, Lovies, one right. more action. So it was, these it was, two come roaring in. It was Clyde who did the, oh. who stabbed me right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he hurt me physically, but mostly he hurt my feelings. Oh. Um, hey. So I, I carry um, a whip that I use for the for the reindeer. Yeah. Um, so I whip I whip it out, and <laughs> <laughs> and I like slash Adam. Okay, this that's is not very Christmassy. He <laughs> <laughs> hurt my feelings. <laughs> he did. Hurt your okay. Um, and this is whip. some form of prowess skill. Um, oh. So it could be. Finesse? <laughs> I think actually finesse is, yeah, yeah it's, it's a dexterous weapon. It would be the, akin to using a rapier in D&D. Mm. So yes, roll me finesse. I'm very dexterous. Oh my, Hi. yes. <laughs> it's a three. Um, he, he basically catches your arm as you bring oh. it down and he goes, nice try, and sticks you under the armpit. Oh my god. You oh, take, uh, Absolutely slathered. Just shivved you up. Take level three harm again. <gasps> Actually, sorry, well, it doesn't really matter now at this point. It's level bleeding three. out. You can resist again because you remember you took no stress on yeah, the last one. Yeah, let's do that. Let's resist. Okay. So I'm rolling to. That's a five. Mm. Okay. Uh, so you take one stress. One stress. And you take a second level of stab ode. Double stab ode. Double stab ode. Mm. Now, uh, so now I've got minus two dice. Oh, I should have really oh it's rolled. for each one. Oh. Yeah, oh, no, I think it might just be just the one. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, it's just it's just it's when it's filled. Okay. So now you're <laughs> minus one. Ah, oh, okay. You're minus one D on everything. Uh, yeah, you're in a pretty bad way. Uh, you two, you, you're, you're like, ah! but then you're like, sorry, ghost. Um, <laughs> it, by, it, by the way, uh, pass me 2D6. I need to make a fortune roll mm -hmm. to see how the other lads are doing. Oh, that thinking. ghost is doing its work. Like oh, it's it's are. killed two people. Nice. Oh, but, uh, yes. Um, <laughs> and, but it is sort of driving the others into a, like a, we still got to go through with that. Like they're panicking and they're like, maybe if we just do all the killing, the ghost will go away. Yeah, Flashback. that's it. Flashback. 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 To me and old Greasy Fingers having a chat in getting, the pub. Getting all greasy. Do you remember old Greasy Fingers when we were sat in the pub talking about how we needed to increase security? And do you remember those long hours we spent teaching the urchins how to use crossbows? <laughs> and the fact that we said, whenever we go somewhere, let's make sure the urchins are standing in the rooms <laughs> wielding crossbows. I think it's I think it's time we execute plan B. Yes. Or plan C, if you will. C stands for crossbow. <laughs> I genuinely didn't get that. <laughs> no, I, I can tell. That's why I explained it. Thanks, uh, That one's going to be a three stressor. No worries. Stress so you, days, mate. A ghost, that'll cost you two. An army of kids on the rooftops with crossbows, that's, that's three stress all day, mate. Okay. It is, dealing with kids can be stressful. Yeah. I'm bleeding out, by the way. Just <laughs> ah, <laughs> zero stress. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't give a rat's fart, to be honest. Yeah. Okay, so you have done a uh, flashback. There are now some chillin', chillins up on the roof with crossbows. Yeah. Terrifying. Small child. They're, they're about to fire into yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Sized crossbows. Um, can you roll me? We'll call it two d six for the kids. Okay. Four. Okay. Um. <coughs> so, uh, like, you're there. You you sort of you see Elf get like getting like pretty 
like mashed up basically and you sort of like you look to the kids you give some form of signal <laughs> and uh, you hear sort of like the snap of some tight like some taut strings being released and there's like a slight whistle and then the screaming starts uh, as basically three men take bolts like square in the chest and they go down however um, you also uh, see like an innocent bystander gets hit like in the hip and they go down screaming and you hear somebody be like call the guard the blue coats are going to be here pretty soon <laughs> when you said um, innocent bystander I went <laughs> and then he said call the guards I went oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, more importantly two things happen simultaneously at death weather crematorium there is a bell in a tower. That bell rings. It is audible to anybody who is near death well, a death weather crematorium. However, it is also audible at the site of the death, which is right by you. So it basically, it's like if you imagine yourself in a colossal bell the size of Big Ben, it just, you, this otherworldly boong sounds out, the very air around you vibrates, and you're like, oh, somebody just died. Um, from Bellwether Crematorium, Death Seeker Crow flies. It begins to fly directly to the site of this corpse. It will start circling and acting as a signal for the spirit wardens who are coming to collect the bodies. Uh, so basically, this little street brawl has now turned into two of the city's most martial and feared factions coming straight to this location. Okay. Bats. <laughs> I've got an idea, but I'm not sure if it will work. Okay. So, I understand that as a whisper, I can see ghostly architecture everywhere. Mm -hmm. Sort of strange, like, unseen buildings and so on. Yep. I also have a ghost key, which can open the door of an unseen building. Ooh, God. Could we say that, like, in a flashback, um, I've basically planned lots of little like <coughs> routes out of kind of like the streets like i don't know if i could actually go into the ghostly arc i'm not sure how that works interesting um, this has never come up for me either because it does specify that you can like see it and obviously you can interact with it because you've got the ghost key yeah but i'm not sure if it is literally like oh there's a phantom door off we go or i think you are more... still constrained by the limits of human physiology mm -hmm. however you can open that door Let's face it, behind it, there are probably going to be a lot of ghosts. <laughs> Just okay. to point out, I do have an ability here called Ghost Veil, in which yeah. I can partially shift into the ghost veil. Oh, yeah, that's true. So it's clearly physically I forgot possible. about Ghost Veil. Yeah, I didn't pick it, but it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically the uh, the one ring, isn't it? Yeah. Just go shove it on, you're invisible okay, to everyone else, then but you're it. Yeah, you can. The, the others, mm, they would have to, they would probably have to do pretty well on an achievement roll. Okay. This is specialist stuff. You can't just walk into any ghost store, mate. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, could we go for like the first one where it's like, I know that there's a little door nearby that's got a lot of very angry ghosts in it. Yeah, alright then. You clear <laughs> off, is it? <laughs> oh, like, right. I, don't, I, don't, um, I don't clear off, but I'll basically open the door to release the ghosts at the other people. Obviously, Great. everyone else will have to do the check, but it does mean that, they, that one ghost has already killed two people. <laughs> Yeah, you know what, the and ones. most of the fun of being a whisperer is like, lol, ghosts, everybody not get scared now. So <laughs> that is absolutely well within your rights. And uh, okay, surprise okay. ghosts, the best fun of ghosts. Mm. So, yes, basically all of you see, um, you see Creepy Jack kind of reach into, um, into does Creepy Jack use he, him pronouns, or? Uh, yeah, uh, Creepy Jack is the they. Is it they, right. Yeah. Uh, reaches into their, their jacket and sort of extracts, it seems like nothing at first, and then... It's almost like a, 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 a covering cloth has been lifted and sort of it transforms into this weird key that sort of it like holds together with sort of a glowing shape and occasion sort of like zzz, like glitches like static. It's like it's no, it's struggling to be maintained in this plane of existence. Uh, and you see them just lower the key like and really deftly just like and they sort of just throw the thing open and it, you don't really see the door you don't see the ghosts that come absolutely pouring through it but you feel the atmosphere change uh in fact sod it you do see the ghosts come in it's like you've opened the door and let a, a bunch of rowdy sailors on shore leave uh into a pub which is not being watched by the barman everybody make me a resolve check please Oh wait, I'm minus one, right? Okay, you are... Would I technically roll... You would roll just one, one die. Well, I just rolled a six. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, you you both fall on your asses and you'll take level one harm, bruised ass. But you can still act. Um, me and what are you doing? What's greasy fingers up to? I'm currently right bruised ass. <laughs> well, yeah, no, yes. But what's That's greasy, what greasy fingers, fingers doing? Grease fingers is not having a good time, <laughs> frankly, because he is <laughs> not <laughs> used to this sort of rough housing. Indeed. Uh, however. During this time, he is going to use his foresight ability. I know we're not in a school, but... Mm -hmm. No, this is a school. Oh. It's just a bad one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to assist my teammate without paying stress. Lovely. I'm going to assist Elf over there uh -huh. uh, with their um, stabbing. Okay. So... Um... You like basically that's something you can just elect to do for free on because normally you would take uh, I think two stress to help somebody no yeah. one stress to, to help somebody um, you can just volunteer to do that on anyone else's action so what we could call this is you leading a group action um, whereby you both roll for the same thing and if anybody uh, basically if Loli's rolls one to three you as the like as her highest die result you would take one stress okay. but it's a pretty good way of of doing in. Old Clyde there. So you're going to attack Clyde? Uh, I mean, it depends if you're actually attacking. I mean, are you like trying to just get away from him or whatever? You're trying to disengage from the man who's just stabbed you twice? Uh, I've got, I've, well, I've, I know what I'm doing for my next move. Okay. But, like, I don't know how this, like. Uh, it's it's entirely this. up to you two whether, basically, like, it's up to you whether you go first or you go first. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to attack. Oh, okay. Sorry, um, yeah, I, I've played with too many bloodthirsty <laughs> Okay. I more want to, like, just impede them, like okay. trip them up or something like well, that. Well, in that case, Lowe's, why don't you say what you were planning to do and we'll see how this works in. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, I reach into my pocket and I pull out a red nose that's shining. And there's a flashback oh. to um, Santa telling me that if I ever need help to just... Um, Shine oh the goodness. Rudolph's red nose radiance, which is um just this light. And yeah. Can I call <laughs> to my assistant? Yeah, I hate it. Let's do it. <laughs> Santa flies into hell, but is immediately burned alive by the shocks of the ghost wall. <laughs> okay. You hear the jingling of sleigh bells. <laughs> oh no! Santa's carriage. Like glides to a halt, uh, running over two of the corpses uh, <laughs> uh, on the on the cobblestones of this main theatre. Elf, despite you know really quite profusely bleeding everywhere, is delighted. And Santa gets out and goes, "Oh my my my, this is a bit of a pickle, isn't it? Elf, what can I do for you?" Um, could you please get rid of the bad men? Can do. Santa Claus <laughs> reaches deep into his sleigh and pulls out basically two little gunny sacks of coal and just starts like he just wades through the mail. He's like, Doo! It's a real like Marvel Cinematic yeah. Universe stuff. Like, he's just like, Ugh! uppercuts a dude with, with a sack full of fossil fuels. Um, so the bell at Death Weather Crematorium oh my is like, goodness. Boom, it's just clanging away. Boom. Boom! He's basically like they, they're running out of crows. At <laughs> um, um, Santa, Santa has laid waste to all of the spark rights that came at you. Let's face it, he also caught a couple of innocent bystanders and killed them. He's like, oh, I guess I'm going on my own naughty list. He says, waving <laughs> in a skull down. and roaring. <laughs> this is like the future armor, Santa. Right? It really is. <laughs> um, can, and, I, can I can yeah. I help Elf then, like with the stabbing? I thought you were going to say by believing in Christmas. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, do you, oh, you, if you just want to go scab, yeah. stab a bunch of people, yeah. No, no, no. I mean, oh. the fact that they have oh, been stabbed. Oh, with the fact that they have been stabbed. Mm. Yeah, okay. Um, do you want to come over and like, whip out some sort of ointment? Oh, God, of course ointment. it's an ointment. It's the ointment. In the grief. <laughs> it's a grief. It's an ointment. ointment. Yeah, um, just make me a roll of some sort. Resolve? Is it... Or insight to check the body, like maybe, the uh, yeah, thing is, yeah, where the wound is. Yeah, sure, <laughs> fine. 
Just, just roll it. We're nearly at the end. Got one anyway. on it. Oh no, it's survey. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Five. Five. Uh, yeah. Like you, you find the words. You yeah, basically you manage to sort of stabilize. You manage yeah. to stop the bleeding. Um, like the, the the bad consequence of that is that uh, you get just quite a lot of filth into the wound. Mm. You're like. Uh, so uh, let's that see. Ain't gonna heal clean, that's for sure. It's not gonna go septic though. You're gonna you're gonna be fine. So yeah, you've patched up elf Santa Claus. <laughs> Has killed a whole bunch of people, and it's like <laughs> see you later, lol, 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 see you later. and he just takes off. A bunch of crows turn up, uh, and you're like, "Oh, we should we should get out of here before we get arrested and or killed by the spirit wardens." And then you run away, and that's how you play Blaze in the Dark. <laughs> hey! So we would then do downtime again, and then at the end of the session, we would go over your XP triggers and how much XP you have earned, but we don't really have time because the camera's dying. Santa, so save the day! I just want to thank you all for being involved in this very festive uh, session of Blade in the Dark, and for you all for watching it. I cannot believe Santa Claus turned up. That is the last thing in the world I wanted. Crashed it through the but, snow. And thanks to everyone <laughs> who <laughs> watched Dice Weaker this year. Uh, we're not done with you yet, so subscribe. Watch some of the other videos that are showing up on the screen now. And uh, have a very merry Christmas and a happy new year. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.